Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today is my favorite time of the year, uh, NFL football. Uh, every week is a spectacle. 17 games, playoffs, every week's a spectacle. Not like, you know, the, the baseball, 162 games. Like, really? 162, it's like you can't figure it out in half that. Or uh, hockey, or, or basketball, or NASCAR, 500 miles. Like, really? Football. Football's where it's at. You ain't going to change my mind. Uh, James at work says soccer. Pfft. Anyway, so on this channel, I, I eat really hot, spicy stuff or in really disgusting stuff. So just sitting here giving my NFL Week 1 predictions would be kind of boring. So we're going to sit here and we're going to eat uh, three bags of Pocky Spicy Haunted Ghost Pepper Chips while we talk about these games. So, without any further ado, I'm Matty Ice. It's eating time. Which is, that's kind of fitting too, Matty Ice, because uh, anybody that's watching this is probably going to think, Matty Ice, isn't that uh, Matt Ryan of the Falcons? Well, I'm older than him, so seniority. So, I wanted to get this out here. So, here in a few hours, the Detroit Lions are going to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, <laughs> the Kansas City Chiefs, oh my god, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be without uh, defensive tackle Chris Jones and probably not even uh, Travis Kelsey, um, and the Lions are going to be without Axel Foley. Beverly Hills Cop? No? Nobody? Anyway, but the NFL has a way of parroting things. Uh, you know, Brett Favre was with the Packers for 15 years, went to the Jets for one, and then he went to my beloved Vikings for two. Now Aaron Rodgers is gone for, or was Green Bay for 15 years with the Jets. Is he going to be at Minnesota next year? God, I hope not. I hate Aaron Rodgers. But, uh, you know, they want Mahomes to be the face of the NFL, so how's the NFL going to help Mahomes uh, win this game if he doesn't have two of his best players? Uh, the Chiefs are minus five. I, somehow, somehow, the Chiefs are going to win. I don't know if they're going to quite cover the five, but the Chiefs will more than likely end up winning this one because Detroit, let's face it, Detroit, they've come a long way, and I've got a lot of respect for Dan Campbell, but it's Detroit. They're going to figure out some way to screw this up. Kansas City, the win. <laughs> but not cover. That's tonight. Ugh. Be a long one. <clears throat> Let's do the Sunday noon games. Now, Tampa Bay at Minnesota. Make sure you look for this sexiness at the game, because I will be there in the front row uh, with my dad who's had season tickets for a real long time. He would make it a family tradition to go to one game a year. So, look for all of the Baker Mayfield, you don't want to throw anywhere near this because you know, you'll mess. Like always. Um, the Minnesota minus six. <laughs> like I'm going to pick against Minnesota in this one. I mean, come on now. I'm hoping that Minnesota, you know, how many, 11, what was 11 games last year? They, they only won by a score or less. Um, I'm hoping with, uh, and I love Brian Flores. What a great coach. The things he did with Miami and Pittsburgh. Minnesota's defense is just going to come out on fire. I think Minnesota will cover by a hell of a lot more than six points. And if you like this video, just let me know in the comments and we'll do this every week. Hmm. Next up, noon game, uh, San Francisco at Pittsburgh. San Francisco minus two, two and a half, depending on where you go. Um, San Francisco is probably going to be without Nick Bosa. They've got a bad offensive line. Brock Purdy went to ISU. Iowa State, you know, uh, Iowa State sucks. And uh, go Hawks. And um, But Pittsburgh, I, you know, Pittsburgh could probably have... Um, <sighs> Tom Brady's kid playing right now and somehow find a way to win nine or ten games this year. Pittsburgh always finds a way. Mike Tomlin, former Vikings uh, coordinator, great coach. Uh, Kenny Pickett, uh, Kenny Pickens and all them. You know, Pittsburgh, I, 
I don't call me crazy, but I'm going to take Pittsburgh on this. I don't know how much of an upset, but it's going to be. But I actually like Pittsburgh in this one. Uh, I just, you know, San Francisco is going to be like a let, let's prove it here. Let's, um, you know, were they as legit as they were last year with Brock? Uh, Who they? What's what John Schneider calling Brock the cock? Well, yeah, well, we'll see. So I got Pittsburgh uh, with plus two and a half there. Huh. Huh. Next up, Jacksonville, minus five at Indianapolis. Now, I loved some Trevor Lawrence when he was at Clemson. I love Trevor Lawrence. I think he's awesome. And their coach, Doug Peterson. You know, Doug Peterson took Philadelphia to the Super Bowl on uh, my Graceland up in Minnesota. And... He's turning the the things he did in Jacksonville last year after the whole Urban Meyer thing. Uh, I got a lot of respect for Doug Peterson and the things he's doing with Jacksonville. So, and I might have Trevor Lawrence as my fantasy quarterback. But that being said, we're gonna take Jacksonville minus five. Um, I'm just I'm just you know the Colts have a, a a new head coach, and I'm just I'm just not convinced with him just just quite yet. Anthony Richardson. From what I've seen so far, doing some pretty fantastic things, and I really hope get a get a good season out of him. But I'm just I'm liking Jacksonville at this point. You know, it's week one. Who the hell knows? <clears throat> oh my god! <clears throat> Next up, Tennessee at New Orleans. Now you're thinking on paper. It might not sound like that great of a game, but I'll tell you what, I'm actually excited to see if I'm not, in, obviously I'm not going to be able to watch it, I'm going to be at the Viking game, but I actually wouldn't mind seeing this game. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, you know, now at Tennessee now, uh, getting thrown to the ball by, with uh, Ryan Tannehill, and now you got Derek Carr in New Orleans with Chris Olave, and is Michael Thomas ever going to play? Who the hell knows? You got New Orleans at minus three, and... Um, but I do like Tennessee on this one. I think Tennessee's got they got more chemistry together, and um, I just like to think I think Tennessee's gonna win this one. I might see them pull this out. And <clears throat> I'm still harboring a lot of hate for New Orleans ever since uh, the NFC Championship game where they uh, Greg Williams and that defense bounty gating against Brett Favre and all that. I'm still holding hate against New Orleans, so probably pick against them every week just because I hate them. Go Tennessee, I guess. We're getting there. Um, next up, Cincinnati at Cleveland. Cincinnati's minus two and a half. Um, <laughs> Cleveland lost 18 straight Week One games until last year, so they're one and 18 in the last 19 years. Week One. And Burrow, Joe Burrow, uh, Cincinnati's quarterback, is one and four against Cleveland, but it is Cleveland. So, I will take Cincinnati to minus two and a half. Uh, I like Joe Burrow uh, out of LSU. Cincinnati, you know, this this, this ain't your daddy's uh, Cincinnati Bengals. This is more of like your grandpa's Cincinnati Bengals when they was going to the Super Bowl. So, with that Chris Collinsworth. Pff, that, ugh, hate hearing him announce on games. But I, I do like Joe Burrow and uh, the Cincinnati Bengals. So, we are going to take that minus two and a half. <sighs> No, these aren't that bad. They they are they got they are hot. Not like the Pocky One Chip, but they're hot. Love the flavor of ghost pepper. <clears throat> Next up, Arizona at Washington. Um, now Arizona has basically given up on the season already. They're tank. They're, I'm guessing they're tanking for a USC quarterback Caleb Williams. I mean, tanking for a quarterback isn't always the best strategy. I mean, it did work out for Jacksonville because Trevor Lawrence is awesome, but how did it work for Oakland and Jamarcus Russell? Um, I think Washington is also making some good strides. Are they going to go back to the Redskins? Are they going to stay as the Commanders? Who knows? But it was Sam Howell in there. I, I, I do think Washington is making some good strides. Um, 
And they're going to be a competitive team. And the, the NFC East might be one of the best divisions in football this year. You know, the AFC East is going to be great. And I think the NFC East is going to be great. So we're going to take Washington. No, well, I didn't write the over-under. But Washington's going to cover it no matter how many points it is. They're at home. So... Whatever the spread is, Arizona might not even get that many points. Ooh. Ooh. Next up, we got um, Houston at Baltimore. Baltimore minus 10. Uh, that's more than a touchdown, and that's a lot in this day and age. Um... And I am going to take that because uh, Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham and the Baltimore is just, they're just going to be way too much to handle for Houston. Uh, with the, They got C.J. Stroud as their rookie quarterback, uh, first-round pick. Houston's just a mess. And they're probably going to be a mess most this year. I just hope C.J. Stroud is able to just survive the season. Uh, last time, he, you know, remember when Houston took... Uh, David Carr, Derek Carr's brother, uh, with the number one pick back when they uh, the expansion draft, and he got sacked like 8,000 times, and his career was severely short, and I just hope that doesn't happen to C.J. Stroud, but um, I just, I don't like Ohio State quarterbacks anyway. I think, you know, tell me the last good Ohio State quarterback, just saying. <clears throat> Last of the early... Oh, and the Minnesota game was my lock of the week. Uh, Carolina at Atlanta, the last of the early games. Carolina has Bryce Young, the number one overall pick at Alabama. And they got Adam uh, Thielen, beloved Minnesota Viking. That makes me sad that he's there. But I think that that duo, why they might not make the playoffs, why they might not win eight games... I think they're going to make significant strides over how they were last year. I mean, Atlanta used their first pick, first round pick on B. John Robinson. He's a stud. Don't get me wrong. But a running back in the first round? Come on now. You don't do that in fantasy football. You don't do it in the real world. Ezekiel Elliott of the stupid Cowboys ruined that. So, yes, there's two. There's a few teams I actually cannot stand. Dallas, Green Bay, Philadelphia, New Orleans. Just can't stand them. So we are taking, and I, oh, Atlanta is at minus three and a half. It's at home, but we are taking Carolina uh, plus three and a half on that one. <coughs> Those are right. Not halfway home. So let's go to the three o'clock games. We got Miami at the Chargers. Um,. I want, and the Chargers are minus three, and I want the Chargers to win. I really, really do. Uh, they they took Minnesota's beloved quarterback, uh, qu sorry, linebacker, Eric Kendricks. Love that guy. Sets, hated to see him go. Um, and they also, you know, they still got Khalil Mack, I believe, linebacker. I mean, the Chargers have it on defense. They do. But, man, you can't, you just, when he's healthy, and it's week one, so he should be, Tua Tonga Vailoa, Tyreek Hill, you just can't bet against them. So I am going to take Miami plus three. Um, I actually think it should be a pretty good game, honestly, but uh, I just don't see Justin Herbert and the Chargers pulling it out. I guess I don't. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't drank anything yet. <laughs> Huh? It goes pepper chips, huh? Uh, next uh, 3 o'clock game is my uh, upset pick of the week. I bet people are going to be upset with this one. Get it? Um, Philadelphia minus 4 at New England. This is the first time that Jalen Hurts has played New England. And if you're in your first game against a Bill Belichick team, your first time, your odds are going to be pretty low. Do, do I think Philadelphia has a far superior team? Yes, I do. But Bill, but facing Bill Belichick can be scary the first time, even when he's not cheating. So, 
We are going to take New England at plus four. Uh, call me crazy, but that's my upset pick of the week. Um, <clears throat> next up, the Las Vegas Raiders at the Denver Broncos. Broncos are minus three and a half. Really, all I can say about this game is Broncos head coach Sean Payton from the greasy, grimy New Orleans Saints. Sean Payton is a winner. Um, he did a lot of winning down in New Orleans. Wasn't always the most ethical winning, but it was winning nonetheless. And when I was in the service, they said, if, you ain't, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Well, Belichick's made a career out of it, and so has Sean Payton. So, I do like Denver, minus three and a half. Go Broncos. Next up, the LA Rams at the Seahawks. Seahawks are minus five. Uh, Cooper Cup might not play for the Rams. And um, the Seahawks are much improved. Geno Smith, the Seahawks really impressed me last year with their hard work, grit, fort intestinal fortitude. They got Pete Carroll. He's a winner also. I am going to take Seattle minus five. I don't even know if it's going to be close. Almost done. <sighs> Three to go. Next up, Green Bay at the stupid Chicago Bears. Actually, I don't mind the Chicago Bears. Um, I hate the Packers, but my philosophy is the Minnesota is really the only team out. The Vikings are really the only team out of Minnesota that I root for. The rest is all Chicago, but I can't stand the Bears. So, you know, Cubs, Blackhawks, you know, Bulls, I'll go root for them. So. Chicago at minus one. Now, earlier in the video, I said that I just don't trust an Ohio State quarterback. I do eh, somewhat trust Justin Fields. Um, when he has to throw a pass, I don't trust it. But when he has to tuck the ball and run, I do trust it. That only gets you so far in this league. I mean, look at Lamar Jackson. That only, and Robert Griffin the third. That only gets you so far. That first knee injury... And Fields' career could probably be over. But, until then, I will take the Bears minus one at home. Yeah, I hate, hate, hate Green Bay. I wish Green Bay could lose all 17 games. I really, really do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still haven't taken a drink of water, just for anybody watching. I am. Oh, yeah. Next up, Sunday Night Football. The greasy, grimy Dallas Cowboys, minus three and a half at the Giants. I want to see the Giants win. Trust me, I do. But Dak Prescott has won his last ten games against the New York Giants. It's hard to bet against that. All streaks have to come to an end at some point. I just don't see it happening this time. Let's say this week one, anything can happen. A lot of these starters haven't played. I, I, I hope I'm wrong. I just, I don't see it. So I will take the Dallas Cowboys minus three and a half. Last but not least, Monday Night Football, the Buffalo Bills at the New York Jets. Buffalo minus two and a half. I actually think this game is going to be 
really close. I am going to take Buffalo at the minus two and a half. But I think the game's going to be really close. Aaron Rodgers. God, I hate Aaron Rodgers. But, again, also winner. You hate, you hate the guy, but you respect him when he's on the field. Um, he shows his feet in interviews. <coughs> calls out his teammates. Complains. But Josh Allen is Josh Allen. Um, there's... Can they start a new tradition of throwing dildos on the field when Aaron Rodgers is out there? I hope so. But we will take Buffalo minus two and a half because, God, I hate Aaron Rodgers. But the Jets are going to be so much improved. They brought half the Green Bay Packers with him when he signed. And the Jets were already a pretty decent team to begin with. So that should be a pretty marquee matchup as well. So in the end, we got the, we got the, uh, the Chiefs tonight. Pittsburgh, Jacksonville, Tennessee, Cincinnati, Washington, Baltimore, Minnesota, Carolina, Miami, New England, Denver, Seattle, Chicago, Dallas, and Buffalo. So, how many did I get right? I guess we'll see Tuesday morning, Monday night, Tuesday morning, when I'll come back and I guess we'll review. So, until then, be kind to each other, and uh, remember, no heat, no eat.